So guys, our new Boulder solar panels got a little bigger, a little stronger, and a little more powerful. So the Boulder 50 is replacing the old Boulder 30s, and our Boulder 100s are now replacing our old Boulder 90s. So we've got a nice ecosystem going here. We've still got the tempered glass, the aluminum frames, and now reinforced corners to be able to go out and play wherever you happen to be out there. So our new Boulder lineup all comes with integrated kickstands. These will allow you to tilt your solar panel to point them at the sun for more solar production. It's pretty sweet. Just on a nice little hinge, this kickstand folds in flush with the panel. And as you pull it out, you just lean the solar panel back, point it towards the sun, and you start producing and charging your batteries. The kickstand is built so it's integrated to a little less than a 45 degree angle. Since most solar panels and most outdoor play happens in the summertime, we wanted to capture more of that summer sun when it's more direct overhead and less out on the horizon. So we've tried to optimize this angle for your benefit. So we've made a decision to get away from the MC4 cables and stick to the 8mm barrel jacks. This is going to be a safety precaution so that we can only chain our panels in parallel. So everything stays at a nice safe 12 volts for the user. With our 8mm chaining cable, we can chain up to 4 of any of our solar panels here that have the 8mm barrel jack to plug in through the Anderson power pole. Just grab the barrel jack from the solar panel. As you plug it in, make sure you push hard enough to hear it snap into place and that's going to give you a nice strong sturdy connection to make sure that you're always transmitting power to your battery. As you can see our panels come in slightly different form factors between the 50, the 100, and the 100 briefcase. The briefcase has a sweet carrying handle so it can go wherever you go and it comes with a bag so you can stuff the panels in there, keep them nice and safe from getting scratched while you're out traveling. The Boulder 50 and the Boulder 100 both have the kickstand, which is a sweet tilt option for portability, but that kickstand's also removable just in case you do want to permanently mount these solar panels to any roof. And those are our brand new Boulder solar panels with improved features and capabilities for a wonderful user experience. And if you need any more information or for purchasing, just go to GoalZero.com. Ideal for use in multiple applications such as boats and RVs, the Grape Solar GS400 kit operates a wide variety of AC and DC powered devices including pumps, LED lights, computers, and other small electronics. The kit is also suitable for small cabins and emergency backup systems. This kit has been designed to include everything you need to charge a 12 volt battery bank so you can get up and running as quickly as possible. Let's take a look at the components that make up the kit. This kit is exceptionally easy to assemble and use. 
First, the heart of the system is the Grape Solar 100 watt crystalline panel. The panel is designed with industry standard MC4 connectors used for their durability and weather resistance. The back of the panel has mounting holes which allow you to mount the panel in various ways. Using the included MC4 cables, you connect the Grape Solar panel to the Xantrex C35 charge controller. The cables include an MC4 connector on one end and a bare wire on the other end which connects to the charge controller's terminal block. The Xantrex C35 charge controller is a PWM style charge controller that is large enough for you to expand your system for up to a total of five solar panels. With a multicolor LED status light, three stage control, temperature compensation, and manual or automatic equalization, this durable charge controller will maximize your system performance and increase battery life. The Xantrex ProWatt SW2000 features pure sine wave output, which is perfect for sensitive and heavy duty loads, including refrigerators, freezers, small microwave ovens, and lighting. Extension cables from the panel to the Xantrex C35 charge controller and 12 volt batteries can be purchased separately if you don't already have them. For safety reasons, when you're setting up your solar panels, please have them covered or out of direct sunlight in order to protect uh, yourself and your system components. The first step in setting up your system would be to connect your battery to your charge controller. You can use the Renogy tray cable or any standard copper core wire to connect the two units. Be sure to lead the wire directly into the battery terminal of the charge controller, matching the positive to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative to the negative terminal of the battery. Make sure you proceed with attaching the panel to the controller very carefully. If you insert the cables incorrectly, you may generate a reverse polarity and cause a short on your system, damaging your panel or other components. Also, be sure to be careful when you're hooking on your inverter and follow the same logic as we went through here. The second step is to connect your solar panel to the charge controller. Renogy recommends that you first connect your adapter kit to your panel and then follow the positive or negative sign coming off of the panel's leads and match those with the positive and negative signs on the charge controller. If you wanted to make more complicated installations such as those involving series or parallel connections, please visit our channel and for more information and detailed videos regarding such connections. Thank you and have a sunny day. Hi, I'm Jason, and this is my review of the 120 watt portable solar kit from GoPower. So it comes in this nice case, which is great for us because we live full time in an RV. So it's very simple. Just unzip, unlatch these latches, and you can see all the guts on this side which is super basic. More important, 120 watts of power here, which you can move anywhere for the sun. So all the wiring's pre-done. It's done through a solar charger, so this regulates how much power goes to your battery. So that's nice. It comes with a cable, and it actually comes with two little clips you can connect to the positive and negative of your battery um, or this plug which we've installed a cool adapter I'll show you in a minute the setup is super simple just unscrew here and tighten same thing on this side undo my cable here So here we have this plug att attached to our battery directly, black and red, and line it up to the sun. And now it's as simple as plugging in, and we've got power. It's a great addition to our solar setup because we can capture that early morning light when the sun is really low, 
same in the evening. Also, when we're camping in the trees off the cord, we can pull this thing out, run it into the sun, and still charge our batteries. Easy setup, affordable price, for us it's affordable.